Okay, so let me just do a, a recap here. We're talking about where to start. The, the Caucasians a hybrid. are hybrids. And hybrid. Here, I'll let you summarize. The, anim <laughs> the animal cheesedic hybrid race. This is the mic. What? This is the mic, so hold it. Oh. Okay. Um, I was talk. I am talking about the development or creation of the animal machizedic hybrid white race, and that we started out because we had to to bring back the full twelve strand DNA. We initially started out with the root races, right? But and they are darker skinned, more adapted to this sun, to this physical climate. There was um, an altering, or I guess you'd say a boogering down the line of the, the An Anunnaki Draco wanting in on it and so and not liking, right? Oh, yeah, because we had the hybridization program for, for them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's right, okay. And we started with Jacob, Jacob. J Jacob, yeah, Jacob or Jacob as in Jacob's ladder. He was a geneticist. So some of this was preserved in the Bible. Right. But some of it is where Chaos picks up on, but also this information. Where is the source coming from also? Of where you're hearing this? Um, it's just the Moorish. Moorish. Okay. Moorish. Moorish. Yeah. Moorish tradition. Right. And you were explaining the Moor? M-U-R? M-O-O-R. Oh, well, there's Mu. Mu. Er. So we Let's know Mu, so, right? So yeah, Lemuria is Mu, and Ur is um, Ur Tarantis, right? That had to okay. do with Atlantis. Okay. And we had that also back on Terra, right? So it's the same divisions of groups. But what's interesting is Ur or Atlantis was predominantly, and even talks about in the Voyagers book, were the Anunnaki, where the anim predominated that culture, Egypt, all that is their, basically a lot of it's their culture. When they were first introduced, and this was in the third seating, so the, the Anu didn't come in until the third seating. They, they weren't there in the first Well, I think the Anunnaki second. were there. Wait, let me grab them. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I think <laughs> I, they were there, but they couldn't breed with us, right? Okay. Until the third seating, okay. when we did, we did the hosting with uh, and that's the Jacob story. Okay. okay. And then the ja Jacob or Jacob story got um, infiltrated, right? Because the radical ones took it over at a certain point. But initially, Jacob or Jacob was a gen geneticist for the Guardian Alliance, I'm going to say. Okay. Or the symbol for the Guardian Alliance uh, group of people that gen geneticists who worked with. Um, I guess it was a combination of a certain t um, type of cro magnon right? And development. Of, uh, they, they developed that, that lineage of the, the initial development of the humans, right? With the cro magnon and one and two and something like that. Something, something. I can't remember the different lines, but... And we're talking about how... I'm adding stuff that we... <laughs> yeah, there's... Some... There's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of this. So we're talking about also just how suitable the like the contrast is for caucasians here even on the planet itself just how noticeable this is like for the tribal people darker skinned people how they it they're really in their element out in the sun oils the heat, right the humidity the they, they love it oils come out and everything but it's the opposite for caucasians because we blister and have boils and dry up and stuff so it, it, there's a lot of evidence to this also it's really interesting we we were made actually i think the the anu as well anu and the draco well the draco like the heat though right they like the fire yeah, but the, the i don't think that so yeah I, the anu part though um i guess it's like a whatever overlay. whatever 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 nibiru must be more of a client climate that's conducive to, to us because okay. remember they're originally from Nibiru right wow. and um, sorry oh <laughs> and um, 
And of course, they had the Mars influence. So I don't know what kind of climate Mars traditionally, originally yeah, had. Yeah. We know what it has now, yeah. but um, they're, they're connected to Mars as well. Yeah. But they're not really tied to this. We're not tied to this Earth. So, um, let me say something real quick, too. So, with the. Uh, and this is what kind of triggered me to want to record this because I thought this was fascinating that the Caucasians basically carry since they're, they're really not suitable to the climate here is because of the 12 strand DNA they're more they have the connection that still retain kind of up there on these more expanded places that aren't in this environment and the tribal people here now do they they're integrating 12 they're strand. Right race. They're the root race. So now, they, what strands they do they have? What, have all what? of it, actually. Okay. But they are built. Their root is up to how many strands? I, mean, I think they it? have all the strands, not activated, but they have it in their DNA. But they have activated fully and holding the first three strands, right? Yeah. To be able to, so or at least the present. first strand is really rooted in, I think even the second and third is somewhat rooted in, and then they have the capability of the, the rest. And this kind of goes into the interview I recently did with um, a, a beacon. He was saying that the darker colored tribes of people here that are more about kind of unifying, bringing people together, main, maintaining, preserving the tribal uh, essence that we've kind of lost, you know, or that Caucasians don't really have, I guess, inherently, that we don't have that. So there's there's more of a focus here, like in 3D, whereas we're... So in a way, I don't think that it was even ever lost. It's just something that we're not really designed to. Uh, we're more unified up in the higher strands, I guess you would say. Like with cosmic family and the tribal darker skin races here are just really focused 3D, three, three strands, they right? Just, they were more designed, yeah, they were more designed as a root race to be able to ground and run the higher, the ground, the grounding rod. So, so we all work without together. the yeah, we, without the grounding rod, doesn't matter how many higher strains you have. If you can't downstep it into the grids and run it and cr create a, a powerful personal morphogenic planetary field, you're not you're it's it's useless. The mm -hmm. planet's not going to benefit. It was designed for us all to work together. This isn't about like, oh, the white race has and 12 strands. And, and what and I was originally yeah. almost saying when you stopped me was, yeah. remember, originally, each of the tribes, 12 tribes, mm -hmm. needed to integrate and develop that their strand that they were responsible for. Okay. But there was supposed to be a point where then it was all supposed to be integrated together kind of the rainbow race, right? The rainbow race right. is the natural outcome. And that's and that's where we're at right now is healing all the the divisions between the different tribes of the different races or not races because it's all one race, but yeah, the yeah. the different lineages. And that's what oh god. <laughs> oh god, saying that I'm like whew, okay. So that's why right now, as Christopher, Chris is here with his beautiful children, beautiful beings here, and in these beautiful grids here of ancient old race that live here, that have been holding space here for a very long time, and one of their purposes is this time. This is the time where we're going to heal those wounds those divisions and be able to have the full dna strand start to activate and have this be a really healthy ascension planet which is what it was designed to be which is coming into now urea earth okay so um what i was looking with the story not that it even matters so so really there's going to take up on more um, yeah the, um I don't know how much detail that really needs to be said, except the bottom line is that, okay, so they, the, the, 
It doesn't talk about it in Voyagers where this experiment, genetic experiment, initially occurred to develop the hybrids of the Anno, um, Anno and the Draco. Draco. Draco would be Caucasian. Draco is usually darker, but the Annas tend to be lighter. But um, Pleiadian also. I mean, there's like other. Well, where the Pleiadians another word for guardian. Okay. In my opinion, because okay. in Voyagers there were certain Anunnaki lineages, or actually, it was I don't even think it was necessarily the Anunnaki's. I think it was the Anu Melchizedek's. Okay. Actually, that, that wanted healing, and I think eventually there was also some Dracos that were in on that. Mm -hmm. Then it was overtaken by the pissed off. Um, Anunnaki. And this is Voyagers 2 for the details. You can get all the... I think it's in both of them, actually. But Voyagers 2 is the only one we can get a hold of easily right now. The book of Genesis. Um, <laughs> so, yes. And there was a lot of success with that hybridization program. And I would say my, my intuition, my feeling is the root race or the race of uh, tribe five which is located in Peru which is not that far from Brazil it's all in that same general yeah. area those those are hybrids those they're lighter skin yeah. they're still dark but they're still kind of lighter they're not the dark dark they're a very positive expression of that hybridization yeah, I think so too and there's, there's many others the Chinese all around there's yeah there there's quite a few cultures that really did a good job mm -hmm. really became a very positive animal cheesedic lineage mm -hmm. okay um, but remember in Voyagers they pretty much the animal cheesedics were kind of are the Masons now I mean they really kind of took over the whole world yeah yeah and a lot of the angelic humans originals basically went underground for the most part or in high, when, when a lot of them went into hiding a lot of them some obviously didn't because they became part of the Moorish Empire and because they're you know dark skinned but the Australian aboriginals are originals um, but they have a lot of mixture in them now at this point but very I think they but they were a lot yeah they don't want to integrate <laughs> although at this point they pretty much are not from what I've heard. There's still some tribes that are still some tribes that are... So what the government... This is interesting, too. What the governments of... And this is from someone that lives down there that's a native in Australia that knows the Aborigines, has told me, and someone I interviewed also, the the governments have tried to give them, like, the welfare system and throw money at them, give them cars. What they do with the cars is they, they plant... They put plants in them. <laughs> they start growing stuff in them. They don't know what to well, do with them. that's funny because it's like in, the in, money. In, in America you'll see in on some of these tri on some of these reservations that they will um did we turn it off? no it's still going that <laughs> you'll come to some people's houses and they have toilets with plants potted in them. right yeah, yeah. <laughs> they make art it's they art. do it's awesome yeah. Yeah. you know even with junk and trash and stuff. <sighs> exactly yeah. exactly they have a whole different way of seeing things and it's yeah. awesome yeah. and that's what we're missing is that element of that beautiful earthy but deeply spiritual intuitive flow of connected to nature and connected with spirit through nature and living in harmony with everything that is the gift of the root race and that was cut out because as because but partly because of the last cycle was um, I want to say Piscean age was developing the intellect developing the mental process and so that allowed these hybrids to develop that intellect, that, that mat maturity that comes with being able to use your mind, your brain to deal with different elements around you and, and do different things. And that was part of the evolution, I think, of um, the development of the, the, the human race.
or the angelic human or the Anu Melchizedek human or <laughs> however way you want to say it. It wasn't, it's not wasted time. But with that said, now is the time that we bring back that intuitive spirit element and integrate it. And all levels benefit from all the development. Because, you know, all the, the creations of all the beautiful cities and just all the interesting things that have been created by the intellect, it's been an awesome experience. But it's kind of time now to just get back to the basics. And that's what we're in the middle of doing. But yeah. Um, I want to get back to the I was, just getting, I was just getting back to it, too. Okay. We put, but I, I heard you. <laughs> um, so. Okay. What? Can I go back inside? Um, okay. So okay. Um, I was at the point. Uh, originally, the, the story, um, the Genesis was in Brazil. Okay, yeah, I did talk about it. And it moved out to different areas. Actually, the whole world. We're going back but to the, or more? Or we're going back to the, the Genesis story. Genesis. There was a group of light-skinned, very light-skinned, blue eyes, very light-skinned, probably blonde hair, that just was very violent, very aggressive, causing a lot of problems. And they were also getting, like, lesions and stuff. They just were not surviving being in South America. It, it was very much interesting. Okay, the Nordics linked to this at all? They didn't later down? Okay. So, the, so the, the Moors decided, okay, they're not doing well here. They're, they're all causing havoc in our culture. And from what I understand, it, there was major civilization around them. That if you, the, the stuff that we're finding right now that's like covered up, of these ancient cities was actually these cities. Mm -hmm. So the males were taken to the Caucasus Mountains. The mothers stayed back because they were not violent and they were doing well. And so the parents were, childs were separated, taken, and I think quite a few generations they stayed there and then eventually they said, screw this, we're not going to continue staying in the Caucasus Mountains. They eventually moved like to England, Ireland, the Netherlands, right. all those areas. Norway. Norway. Mm. And uh, probably mm. all those, all, all, that, all oh, those yeah, areas, those all those colder yeah. uh, places. Now, bear in mind, there's still Moors in all those areas, too. And they were actually the royalty. They were the original, the Moors are the royalty. <laughs> they are the true the royalty. royalty now? No. Or, no, they were then. Yeah. Well, they still are. The true royalty are the root races, the Moors, the angelic humans. Now, the when the uh, particular Anunnaki groups infiltrated and took it over, took over things, they were then able to breed with the angelic human. They then married into these royal families and took over these world families and that's what you have today and that's why they get this big thing about the the yeah. jewish stuff and the bible and the david and all that and, and because they infiltrated into that culture yeah. and they did it in a way that i say infiltrated as opposed to a healthy way of integrating into it and building it up that's not what their intention was so it was an infiltration they wanted to take it down and control it with their intellect and that's apparently just what the time was for. So um, when so that so the Arabs are part of that Anu Melchizedek, and they were actually supposed to be guardians of the true angelic human more. Uh, angel, I'm not going to say more. And true, true angelics, because to me the Moors is the full invasion of the Anu Melchizedek um, influence. So when, uh, but anyway, the Moorish Empire, because of that Anu influence, the way it was with the, the disharmonics, actually kind of compromised that Moorish Empire in many ways on the European side. And so 
they work to separate the two. Oh! It's a bumble. Oh! Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Ah. He's, it's okay. He's away. Right. He's away from he's, you. He's I can sit. No, You're he's right. gone. He's over here. He's, he, you can sit up. You can sit up now. It's bugs. okay. No, it's fine, Maddie. Just You're all right. <laughs> it's actually a good omen. Um, yeah, bumblebees. Oh yeah, bees are, are bees. Oh, that's a fly. So. Um, so there was a separation, like I'd said, between the red house and the white house in the beginning of the conversation. Red house Alhambra with the Moors was that more animal, more cheesy, excited the empire. This is my opinion. That's not what the story says, but that's just me piecing Spain. it. Yes. Spain, Alhambra. Spain. And there is an Alhambra in Spain. Okay. That makes sense. It's spelled a little bit differently, but yeah, Alhambra. I think it's Alhambra. pretty much this yeah. more or less so the same person, lineage. The same. Yeah. And then you had the White House over here, but not where it's at now. Actually, Philadelphia is the seat of the emperor of the full Moorish Empire. But they kept the two empires separate, sides separate, for a long, long time, until the invasion of 1491. And the Red House went down. When Columbus sailed the ocean blue, it was an invasion force to take over the other side of the empire. And it was a very violent and harsh time. It was not good. Because this side was highly angelic human and lived by a very different way of being. And when we look at um, the Masonic uh, teachings, they were actually the root of the true Masonic teachings, which is Ma Sun. And it has to do with um, the evolution or development of the human race, of the mother, of the mother, the magnetic, the birthing, the earth, producing the sun, the electrical evolution of the human race. And it's about how to be self-sovereign and stand in your power and the carpenter of the mind, which the Christ, the Christ or Jesus was represented, the Christ of the 12-stranded DNA of, of, and the t carpenter tools of mind, how we develop and create a reality. That's the true root of masonry. But what it's come, become today is basically with the influence of the animal, animal cheese, distorted animal cheese dick, it's become a control. Mm. And any leader has to be under their has been traditionally under their domain and control and recently what's been occurring with the white hats slash um uh the u.s military certain u.s military and trump is breaking that old masonic system yeah. distorted system down because that's been run by the cabal the um the hybrids that that went awry and are not part of the healthy integration of the 12 tribe rainbow ray evolution biogenesis evolution of bringing back the full dna capability with earth being a literally still the grounding rod of this time matrix for that to occur as well as um, earth is a grounding rod for even other time other matrices people it has portals from other systems can come in that's why this earth is so important because it's really a healing for a lot of different lineages which is why we have to have the root races and the lighter colored races because we're bringing holding space for many different star systems actually when I went back and did my own ancestral lineage going backwards from different family members um, there were so many different lineages of different ways of being and different star systems coming in and that's what we're really in the middle right now of including you know I mean I, I don't remember the being but for many it's healing the Dracos because remember, mm -hmm. the Dracos are the red drag red dragons. They were a very evolved, um, ancient, ancient, ancient. Um, 
We've been around a while. Hold on. <laughs> Christic race. Yeah, Christic. Yeah. They were one of the ones, the Green Dragons and the Red Dragons, originally came in. They're, yes. Yeah, they yes. were they were part of trying to heal some things that occurred and they got caught up. Yeah. But keeping in mind with that, nothing's life is not really rock bottom solid. And time is all simultaneous. So each of those races has their organic roots active right now and yeah. alive. Yeah. And all those lineages right now are in the have the choice to heal and integrate and make the whole much more expanded and full. And that's how source grow that's how source grows and evolves and lives is through expansion and bringing in new experiences. Wanted to talk about because uh, we were talking about um, how the slaves in, during the what era was that of slavery when we first brought over from Africa bought slaves from oh, there that Amistad story, that, and that story was um, there's another part of this the story too it's a holographic that, insert type yeah, thing that, here that story. Um, and Mark's been posting some of this too, pictures of these huge cathedrals in Utah, Mormons built in the 1800s and mm. stuff, you know, just how it was impossible for them to build these structures, you know, in the limits 14, of time. And 1492. This is another insert so that she was telling me about. 1500s, this okay. 1500s is the story. But you were saying that they weren't really even brought That's over the here. That's story. Oh, was this was an insert type thing. Here. Yeah. Um, History insert. When Columbus came over, there was already the Moors, a major complicated uh, civilization. Black tribes, darker skin Dark, tribes. Darker skin tribes. tribes. Now, they were made up of a variety of what different types of what we call Indian races, and there was also yeah. a lot of lighter colored Europeans that had come in throughout history, and right. so there's very, very, you know, there's lots of different Indian races here, so, or we're calling it Indian races. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. is totally incorrect, right? <laughs> um, the uh, American originals uh, here in the northern um, hemisphere. Because <laughs> the United States, technically, of America is the whole North Central. Oh, God. Something no, he, just... It's gone. He it just flew, just flew by. He zipped real quick. I saw it. It just, it's just flew by. Um, I think it just, you smell so good. It just it has <laughs> to get a little sniffy poo of you if it, as it passes by. Um, what was I saying? The Indians. Oh, there's many, many the different types of, yeah. right. Yeah. African Americans is, a, here, is so not correct. African Americans is a story, a construct, an insertion to take away the original's history. People that are consider themselves black, that were born and raised and can't remember what their original, where they came from, came from here. There are very few actual people that were brought over from Africa. I'm not saying that didn't happen, but it's a really yeah, it's small a little, number. Little mixture. What ri what was the predominant, from what I understand, is they were like people that were from like uh, North America went down to South America. People that were from South America came up here. They went up and down the Missouri River. Mm -hmm. They went in Mississippi so they River. Was, they were migrating and, kind of. No, they were literally taken from their homes taken. as slaves. Okay, okay. Okay. And moved around. But that None I think happened. None of preserved in their own history. Like they didn't preserve it themselves or pass this down. If they do, it's hidden. Because if it goes into the mainstream, it will be burned. Okay. Um, but there are some that constantly do... Constantly editing, like the plates type thing. Mm -hmm. It's constantly. Um, and I think that ended up have it happening more um, post-Civil War. Maybe a little bit before. Because pre-Civil War, those plantations were actually by the Moors. The Moors put together the Constitution... They put together the consti current constitution for the slave, their slaves from England and, well, from Europe. The Virginia Company was what was a contract or an agreement to allow 
the slaves from called tenant farmers and what was the other I can't remember the other term that they used but tenant farmers people that um, had to live out their sentences you know considered criminals that were sent over on boats to America <laughs> did you say Virginia company Virginia? I think it was the Virginia company or Virginia something was actually the original contract that we came the lighter skinned people the Europeans came over back back to the Americas because remember they originally were from uh, the Americas okay. and got Let me make sure it's still clear. Not this has a timer on it. No, it's still going. Okay. And I'm wondering too if I can get a copy of this because I oh, want to give it to the yeah. group. No, um, I'll make a link of it too. Cool. Um, it needs to be spoken out loud on Memorial Day. Is today Memorial Day? It's either today or tomorrow. Yeah. Probably Monday, but <laughs> it's right in the spirit of it. Too. So, um, so yes, the plantations were originally the Moorish culture, and we, the white, the 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 Irish, English, blah blah blah, were the hybrids that came back over. Bearing in mind, England is it, it originally was dark-skinned people. Their royalty is originally dark-skinned. England? Yeah. Was. All the, yeah. Um, Ireland, um, originally dark skinned Moors. Scotland, yeah, Wales, all that is. <laughs> we're all dark skinned, dark skinned yeah. Moors. Um, and then throughout the time of the infiltration of the animal machizadic of the lighter skin hybrids, marrying in and taking it over and killing off a lot of people. And basically, what was done here was done in England hundreds of years earlier but they still have a lot of that Moorish it's still part of that Moorish Masonic uh, civilization that's how they could that's how they can say their royalties because they're tied to that um, so they came over and they were on the we were on the the white people were on the the lighter skinned Europeans were on the plantations and then because the the over here um, weren't they're not into the slavery thing they didn't really like it but that's kind of what was set up with the Virginia something something some kind of treaty or something Virginia something or some law by the Virginia company yeah. did some kind of contract mm -hmm. and um, so through the compassion and appreciation and just really I think a lot of the Moors really seeing even their own emperor was getting compromised the whole system was just going down they said, hey, let's take these colon colonists and um, and work with them because they really want to change and they really want to have a safe place to live and they really want to be self-sovereign and blah, 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 blah. So they, <coughs> so they worked with them to um, develop the Constitution. And I honestly think, but George disagrees with me, won't even hear it. I really think that there was a lot of Moors that really didn't like their own Moorish empire and really wanted to be separated too. Some rebel type vibe is in this country. There's something that cannot be... Well, very can't. much more self-sovereign and independent, yeah. Yeah, there was a streak that was still running through to America when get, they got here. Right? Or they were here they, already. They were, they were here. That's who they are. That's who we so are. They're... That's who we are here. <laughs> so, um... But the British colonies came there were some attempts there was like the british the Brit, yeah the british colonies so. were really kind of to a certain extent in the beginning there was a lot of slaves they were slaves for the most part they were either um tenant farmers or uh, and there's i think another term that's sort of similar but tenant farmers probably close enough and um people that had been tried and sentenced and they had to do their term or whatever over here right and stuff like that there was some kind of contract they had where they had to work to be able to be over here. That's just another. Form, that's honestly another form of slavery. <laughs> gold was a big part of it. So there's gold here. Um. Of yeah. The resources. Oh yeah. Well yeah. It's yeah. the power seat too. Yeah. So, after so okay, so um, we had the Revolutionary War breaking the tie supposedly with England and allowing these hybrid 
slaves to integrate into the society and have their own, which was originally um, where the 12 colonists were. The, that Those states, those areas, were originally, they were only supposed to be in that area. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, nature doesn't work that way. Mm-hmm. Nature's like so. Anyway, <laughs> so there is things. So after the Civil War, so okay. So when the Civil War occurred, the Civil War was actually the the traditional Moorish uh, indigenous culture fighting against the Union, which was more um, influenced by the royals because there's that Virginia Company thing actually stayed in place there was still a contract that masonic order controlling the 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 figureheads the people in power that was still there it never went away because it's still part of the culture more culture and that's still part of it all um so we were taken down before we ever stood up if that makes sense with the united states and particularly during the Civil War and after the Reconstruction was even more so. The hybrids basically changed places. Okay? And so the culture, the, what, the mainstream media was really going strong back then. <laughs> really creating, killing off, the, you know, separating people from their, with the Indian culture the uh, Aboriginal Americans separating them from their families going to those so-called special schools there was just a lot it took three generations and to just rewrite history basically mm. is what happened mm-hmm. and um, the plantations got taken over uh, or at least said to be taken over and I think before the Civil War it was already kind of happening where basically the hybrid races were saying hey we did this Constitution we're supposed to have these rights but you're still putting us as being less than you and still not having us be able to be in politics and da 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 I don't think so. So it, you know, there's a lot of reason why what happened and it's not like anybody's really innocent. Nobody's perfect in this. There was a lot of manipulation throughout time behind, just like what's going on right now. You have the false front of what you see and then you have the strings being pulled in the background, whether it's good hats or black hats, it's, still strings are being pulled and not being straight up front and so really what needs to happen is what's going on behind the scenes really needs to be brought out and shown what is really going on and none of this oh i don't think that the people can handle it they'll just fall apart some maybe most won't and the ones that do they'll get whatever it is they can understand and come back in the future if they take their life or whatever. Um, Cause hey, <laughs> we're, we are eternal beings. So um, is, did I say, is there anything more you wanted me to? I, I wanted to go back into the uh, Jakub and the geneticist uh-huh. story, like how the Caucasians originated. What, can you elaborate more on that? Like we're, um, created because there was guardian alliance was involved in this right right this is the bioregenesis template this is basically the bioregenesis the, the larger picture of the cosmic families what what and... we were originally trying to do is create the animal machizidic lineage and they were supposed to be able and they do many of them do there are lineages of the animal machizidic that actually have the full 12 strand capability bioregenerated yeah, yeah. um and honestly, I don't know the details of that either. Yeah. I just know that it took a long period of time, many generations. Well, even in the Voyager's books, it talks about the different developments of the Cro-Magnon, one, two, and three, or something like that. Mm-hmm. I can't remember exactly what, what, which, there's Cro-Magnon and something before then and after. I can't remember the words. But it took thousands of years, really. It took a long period, I don't know, thousands, but at least hundreds of years mm-hmm. to develop because they took... Um, an angelic human. They took certain forms of uh, a bioengineered. It was an already. It was the, the Anunnaki had already taken some of their 
DNA and they crossed it, didn't they, with some type of monkey or ape or something? And they were, they had created the, what we know as the ones that were mining the gold, the gold mines, right? Oh, right. Yeah. For the, so they took, which I think is Lucy, maybe. Okay. <laughs> and, um, or what we know of as Lucy. Yeah. So. What, yeah. They took that and then crossed it with angelic human and. But the Anunnaki themselves weren't cavemen, they were more intelligent type. Like more advanced. They were like, like the. Or? They weren't decent. I don't think they were decent. Were they, they were, were giants decent. during Bible times? Some of them. Or? I think some of them were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean they were not. They were just not human. They weren't human. <laughs> they weren't human. They were. They were uh, aliens. <laughs> they were aliens. <laughs> That's the big question people have been asking. What did they look like? The original Anunnaki. Um. Well, you look in um, the Voyagers book. At least one. I don't know if there's two has it. There's one of a woman. No, there's one of a man. No. Of a man the the when when it shows not the the guardians but it shows the, the raider races the intruder races yeah. and he's like at the top and he's got the hooked nose. He's very tall. I think he's got long hair and long he's got a hook nose. He's got a, and he's woman. got a hooked nose. Syrian Anunnaki. They're Syrian Anunnaki, but there was maybe oh Syrian Anunnaki. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a woman. Does it look like woman features? I thought it was a guy. Hmm. Well, okay, whatever. Yeah. We were talking about the same thing. Well, they're kind of tall. And the tall, like hook nose thing. Like yeah. Um, now that's those. probably a hybrid virgin. I yeah. really don't know what they look like yeah. from their home planet they kept either. That pretty disclosed. Um, I know that the half man, half dog thing, or jackal. That's that was in an. That was uh, Toth, and he's an Aunt Anu. So okay. maybe I don't know. Maybe they look like dogs <laughs> or hyenas. I don't know. But as far as intelligence, they had a one-track mind. They're very take, highly intelligent. But just only focused on one track to take out the human. Well, the, yeah, the, the Anunnaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was kind of a lack there in some sense because they couldn't see beyond the spectrum they were created. And in. we've got to remember yeah. there's the An Anu Melchizedek who created the Anunnaki. But the animal Melchizedeks were here to... I have no idea what they look like either. And the original Melchizedeks were... What? Elohim. 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 Founder races. The founder yeah. racer. Okay. Still the same lineage, but there was a split. Okay. And this is probably where the story of Jesus comes in. J12, Yeshua 12, and J9 also, because that was... He right. was preserving the original Melchizedek template, Elohim. And Elohai, I, guess, I and I think that Joshua nine, for the most part, did what he came to do. Now his his lineage got a little off track, yeah, but yeah. he pretty much did what he was supposed to do, and I think he eventually ascended too, okay. if I remember right from the Voyager's book. Asia well, gets a little harsh on on that side, but I know it's a lot. And I granted they the, his his children really were nasty. They did some nasty. So mm -hmm. That's not going to front, but he himself did good. And also, everybody's back right now too. Like everybody's the, back. Yeah. So J nine is back. Too. I'm trying to think who J nine is. That's been a question that's come up. People are asking. Has yeah. he been identified? Yeah, I think. Oh, oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, because I really like this Tara reader. It's Tara by Janine. She also has ravens, sending ravens, and she's a Canadian. She's got a lot of Canadian or Aboriginal blood in her, and some French, and she trained um, in with one of the aboriginal groups in Canada, in the Calver Calgary area. Calgary? She's from Calgary. Okay. And um, she then studied astrology, she studied numerology, and she studied tarot. Okay. And it's fascinating the stuff she gets. And like, somebody will ask her a question, and it's about a lot of different topics. And she, she got red-pilled around the same time I did. And she, because she used to think, she followed mainstream media about what was going on and was kind of stuck in all that. And then she said, um, but she goes, there was a point where the cards kept disagreeing with me. 
<laughs> the cards kept showing. Wait a minute. No, he's not a bad guy. The red orange man is not a bad guy. <laughs> he's actually doing good. He's actually part. And what's interesting is she goes, she goes, you guys talk, you know, because she's talking to different groups that are into the white hats. She goes, you guys talk about them being white hats, but I get alliance. I've been getting alliance. I have a card that shows the alliance. Mm. I think it's our alliance. Mm -hmm. I think the white hats are part of our alliance of the um, um, the Guardian Alliance. I mean, there's still, it's both. Like, everything's still both because I think there is still a streak that runs through them to look out for their own and make the rich richer and all this. Uh, and I sense that. I didn't look into it when I was a big Trump supporter, but I'm starting to see that now that there's definitely pieces put in place to help, to benefit himself and his partners also. And that was the big uproar in our country about oligarchy is that, well, this guy's just trying to make everyone richer and stuff too. So I think there's kind of a mixture of that where he's he got in but he still had to play the same cards the same line you know and still because you can't come in there without getting dirty and already being dirty to some point these people are groomed like obama yes from what i understand he was genetically altered in the womb he's got a lot of off-world dna trump. Trump. trump well actually probably obama too <laughs> And what's interesting on this Egyptian discussion, too, it's interesting in this discussion is, um, yes, the people that are groomed by the, I'm going to say the Guardian Alliance, or by I'll just say Alliance, it's the same thing, um, are both the dark side and the light side. And you have to have a balance, which goes back to what we were talking about in the beginning of the discussion of integrating the whole lines, all the lines, including what we consider the FAs, mm -hmm. because they're the, it's they're still the all that is, and to, just to separate them out because their template got compromised from decisions that they made and that they never w should be cared about again is stupid. I think that's a stupid thing that our um, particular current KS group tends to do. Yeah. Black and white, and that's not what the guard. Down. It's not what the Guardian Alliance ever wanted mm -hmm. at all, because they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. We would just have taken the angelic humans that could survive and left the rest to duke it out here. But that's never been what's been done. Mm -hmm. So they're both. So Trump is a combination of Pleiadian and Arcturian. Arcturian would be more the dark side. Pleiadian, right now, especially the Arcturus trumpets. Pleiadian is more of the light side. He's both. He could have gone either way. There was people positioned. This is I learned this a lot of this through Tara with Janine and John Claude with Beyond Mystic. She gets certain people around her asking really key questions, and it's just phenomenal the information that comes out. And usually she doesn't know shit. Of what's going on she just they'd ask her these questions she goes and she says a good terror reader needs to go in blind and not have any personal ego involved so he had both sides and even simon parks said well simon parks the one that said arcturian and pleiadian and the dark and the light and he and trump had people positioned at different times of his life to um help him because he could have he could have gone to the dark side, but he chose. Hold on, I'm still talking. Okay, I'm he could, check the time. Uh, he uh, could have um, gone to the dark side, but he didn't. He um, he he ended up choosing the light. But he still has the capability, and he's because he's got the dark side. He un he can understand how they think. Because if you're totally light. Yeah. Every, the world's beautiful well, and everybody's nice and da da da. You're going to get screwed. But if you have the knowledge and information in, in your coding of the dark side too. Yeah, you've got to be able to read the matrix. Like the exactly. Asher herself birthed into a Zeta matrix to be able to read it and take the line. We all did. We all yeah. have the dark side in us. If we didn't have it in our template, we would not be able to read it. Right. And we would not be able to help. But real quick, you're talking about the dark and light with Pleiadians. So in Chaos, it talks about, I mean, Pleiadians aren't all light either. There's been treaties broken and stuff, infiltration in the Pleiadian, Syrian Pleiadian, Anu Pleiadian, all this. 
So you're talking about the pure line of I'm going to say when you're talking about Pleiadian right now with the, with the alliance, they're talking about really the guardian alliance. The original line. That's what I'm, that's what I get. Okay. Yeah. That's what I get. Okay. Um, but even that can be intermingled. Like oh, there's, oh there's yeah. The agenda, oh, agenda yes. stuff of that too. And I think right now, my opinion, totally my opinion on this, the Galactic Federation is going through an, its own overhaul as well. Yeah. yeah. And, um, Yeah. And and uh, yeah, but you it's but it's still a bureaucracy. It's and I think well, I guess the Guardian Alliance is a bureaucracy too. I mean, you have mm -hmm. millions of different star systems all trying to get along together. Come on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yes. not all rosy. No, a here. and I think the Galactic Federation. Well, there was a point in time where the Galactic Federation were playing nicely and they were doing really good, and then they got compromised, just like everybody else got compromised. Mass Jehovah, Galactic Federation. Galactic Federation is a federation, so they're oh, they're just all mixtures, a star system of, a of different mixtures. mixture. Okay. It just depends on who's got their thumb on the power position, yeah. right. and I think um, the the Draco and Draco had their thumb on a lot. They had their thumb here. They had their thumb yeah. there. Um, that's being dismantled. Thank you for sharing, Katie. Unexpected. You're very welcome. Little... So I got everything that you wanted answered? I think so, yeah. Okay. Just, um, it was really fascinating to click all this with the uh, Caucasian, the original. I mean, people that are here are all natives, you know, kind of thing. So we're really wanting to just bring together all of it. And so all the ancestors right now, especially in my class, my seminars um, in our in my seminars I've been finding that the Alliance Alhambra the new guardian of the Council. Ilania Council. Topelia Urea um, that have to do with Uriah, Uriah Earth um, are all connecting with all the ancient ones the shining ancestors and looking to heal the wounds and separations and integrate the full DNA as much as possible, at least set things up to where future generations now can line up better with their lineage. Oh, you, there's a little red light that just blinked. It only blinked once though. Okay, no, it's still working. Just the okay. battery. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so yes. The focus the work now is there may be some people still guided with their to keep the integrity of the different tribes and they may still hold that that contract so to speak although I'm really kind of getting to the point that it's time to let go of all contracts really um, we're free agents now. becoming more free agents but some may want to feel the desire to maintain that particular DNA coding and that's fine but the goal is now for people to harmonize it all together it's a harmonizing journey to literally to realignment <laughs> so yeah that's where we're at okay thank you for sharing You're very welcome.